Hallelujah. Every day Alice is improving her introduction. Today she has added a prophet. And that is powerful, isn't it? Because if I'm a prophet in her house and she has honored me that way and then you honor me that way, you'll also receive a prophet's reward. Let's give the Lord joy. Let's give a joy of the Lord in the house. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. I, today I want some people to help me because I want to... I, I, I want... Uh, these people to be given one on this side, one there, one here, one here, another one over there. If they are enough for every place, then yeah. yeah. Just look for the most intelligent person there, give one. And then look for another most intelligent person over there, give another. And another one here, and another one here, and another one over there. Because I want you to, you'll be taking notes with that piece of paper. And I know we will be blessed, isn't it? Uh, because you look so good. And I don't want to waste your strength. Let's try and sing a song that I love very much. Uh, Rock of Ages, Cloud for Me. Oh no, oh no. Let's try another one. Because my spirit is reminding me this till Easter. I don't know whether it is there. Ragged Cross. Do we have it? If we don't, Rock of Ages. Do we have on the hill far away? And as they do so, because sometimes you have to prepare, hear this word of God. He said to him, He said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than this? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said, Feed my lambs. He said to him again a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And he said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him, The third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he asked him the third time, Do you love me? He said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Truly, I said to you, when you were young, you dressed yourself and walked where you desire but when you are old you stretch out your hand and another will dress you and carry you where you do not want to go he said this signifying what kind of death would glorify God when he had said this he said to him follow me do you have that song okay if it is not there then I'm sure rock of ages iko na kama iko hata nafikiria hata kikuyu inaweza kuwa na nayo no, I'm just kidding. There's no Kikuyu songs there. The most intelligent person. Thank you. Is that the most intelligent person there? <laughs> Peterson, this guy, this lady picked you. All right, you'll be picking some notes for me, which you might give me later when I'm done. I, ikika sana watu atachoka. Haya tuimbe rock of ages, clan for me. Rock of ages, clap for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from the river silence flow. Be your seed, the double cure.
Heavenly Father, we want to hide ourselves in Thee. And we pray that you'd speak to us in a language we can understand. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give your neighbor a high five as you sit down. Tell them they look good. They look smart. They are dressed well. Amen. We bless the name of King Jesus. Our brother Shikuku was away in Busia. And uh, he tells me that funeral that he went to was fantastic. Give him this mic so that we can celebrate with him, even the people that give their lives to the Lord. Wow. Thank you, Bishop. Praise God. I've missed you. I was away in Narok first. And then yesterday, on, on, on Friday, we left to Busia. And we were burying one of our young people. The funeral was great. The, the people over there were very receptive to the message. And I appreciate what God did because that people came to know Jesus and we celebrate for the doing of the Lord. And thank you so much for praying for us and for supporting us. And thank you, Bishop, for sending the team to Busia. Amen. Let's appreciate for what God did. Yes. Hallelujah. Siuyu Mungu Nimpoa. Hallelujah. I'm looking for somebody, somebody else to come so that we can praise God. Did you go to play volleyball? Did you go to play volleyball? Kamombi? There was a volleyball yesterday. Oh, you did. Come, please tell us what happened. We went to play volleyball. Is it volleyball? Volleyball? Whatever. Tell us what happened. I hear that you, you are one of the best strikers. Wow. Wana sifiwe. Jana tulikuwa tumevaa vigine. Siyo leo tuko officio. Our coach was Mr. Dirango. And our patron is Pastor Mwithi. And Mrs. Mwithi was also there until the small hours of the evening. We beat them to one. Wow. <laughs> we beat them. You Two beat sets. them. Two sets to one. Uh, and you are represented by Waze Walikuwa Wengi Kushida Vijana. One man gave his life to Christ. And uh, Pastor Mwithi, you are following on other young men. And we ask you that we have formed a team. Even Mr. Cook was there. He was uh, the liberal. Walo anajua volleyball, the liberal guys. And uh, we have a team that has the name and team and common. That's our team. And it's not going to die. We are going to keep it. And we are going to buy a new uniform. Would you like to be a member? You are welcome. You give me more details. Thank you. Initially, I wanted a team player before I asked the coach to tell us what plans he has for us. Coach, please come and tell us what you, the plans you have for this wonderful team that uh, it will be unbogable. Yes, sir. Bonus, if you Life is getting serious now. <laughs> yeah, we need more. We need people. Some of the problems with you, he can, he will be in the field. He didn't come. Sam, Samson. Samson, he, you had the promise. Yeah, he talked. Next time, we have a uniform. <laughs> and then uh, Bishop had told me that you pray, you do the whistling. He, yes. Yeah, he never showed up. I was in Makindu whistling. I was whistling in Makindu. Thank you. <laughs> now the two I of them, are, one has not, has accounted for that. So Samson has not accounted. We need you there. <laughs> and somebody else, you can anybody else who can do this. I just need the spirit. Knowing the game, you'll know it. You learn it. Don't worry. Uh, we need the uh, Dr. Jogona. The tall he's, guys. He's over there. He's yeah, over he there. Yeah, he need to Darryl be there to treat the, the sick. Eh? And uh, Peterson, I know he can do something. Yeah. He can lead a squad to do the noise. Uh, now, Charles. <laughs> Charles, you did it for us. But they costed us three points, Bishop. Okay. Because they got in the field without telling the referee. Yes. Oh, they just interpreted. And we were deducted three points. Okay. So that is uh, something we are going to work on. Beatrice, Pastor Beatrice, uh, I think you can do it. 
<laughs> somebody else. <laughs> no, we are recruiting. We need that. Team, there is some recruitment going the, on now. The name is Team Uncommon and uh, Dr. Ali Ruth. What can you do for that team? You know, if you cannot play, you can support the team. We need... We, you are saying yes, yeah? So you mean the S? Is it, is it serious? Oh, no, we, we'll be giving them details. Thank right. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> Our church in Umoja, about five years ago, they had a team in the third league of Nairobi. Umoja Church. Why can't we move up to play with Kogalo? Now, this means, now this means, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Ruth. This means that you people that are there and you can do something, come up, let's try and do, and do something. After all the five acres we have, what you are going to do? It is going to be fun. Let's make it together. We want to pour a pale. It is to to ki to ki chase a bolly pale. So for you that uh, and by way, because when we were yesterday, we wanted to hear you announce the Arsenal end, but you were nowhere. We went to all stations, starting from yours. Next time, please let's hear you. This guy, anatangazaga mpira, baka unasema uniwetu. So anyway, let's do something for the King of Kings when day is still, when we still have day. I know I play, I used to play volleyball, uh, but uh, for many years I have not jumped. I'm afraid of that kamukia that can cut off if I stretch so much. But I will do exercise first and then I was a striker actually. You give me a good ball, then you leave it to me. I turn back a little bit and what I do is a story on the other side. <laughs> And, um, but I don't want to sit there. Could you kunja say kwa sababu mishipa ime ganda naeza katika fadhali kwanza nifanya urako kidogo ata mpira by the way ata soka mkianza namba saba unuwa chie tu <laughs> bless the name of the Lord are you happy you're in the house of the Lord I'm also happy I'm in the house of the Lord and we bless the name of the Lord we know Gishuhi in the next couple of minutes, around 10 or thereabout, they'll be launching their church and we pray that God will prosper them. And some of our members, some told me they are going, but some didn't. And I know they are there. Because I'm not naive. You know, I'm a pastor. There are those that uh, you get invitation, you don't want me to pray for you. You don't want me to know where you are, so you just take off. But it is good to be prayed for, isn't it? Just to be prayed for because nobody can stop you to go where you want to go. Amen? So at least I know two pastors are there. Pastor Mwangi had told me he'll be there. Pastor Wangombe and Monica are there. Those ones actually told me last Sunday that please be praying for us. We are there. Actually, they told me even what they will be doing there. Wangombe is leading the service there. Wangombe there is Rosemary. So at least I know what is happening over there and I bless the name of King Jesus. Great things are happening. Great things are doing what? They are happening. I want to ask the person who got the paper on this side, please look at that paper. Tell me what you see on that paper. The most wise person that was on this side, look at the paper that you're given. Who got it on this side? Angalia vizuri pande zote, uniambia ina nini? It has a mark in the middle. It has a dot. Nothing else? Bo angalia vizuri. Na ukifanya hivi labda hiko na mark, hile watermark. Is that nothing? So you can't see anything else. Okay, thank you, Enoch. Where else did you give it? Who is the, the guy who got it there? Oh, yes. Oh, stand up. Tell us. Oh, that young girl, that's one of the brilliant girls we have in this church. All right, tell us, what do you see? A blue dot? Nothing else? Seriously? Look at it keenly. Turn it around, all corners, nothing. Okay, thanks. Where else did you give it? Here. Oh, you give it to Dr. Do Tari. Daktari angalia vizuri na wewe daktari uwezi kosa kuona ama uvae mashishio angalia vizuri daktari what do you see a blue dot nothing else okay all right 
Of course, I know Peterson here. Now, Peterson, you have to see something. What do you see, Peterson? You see the world? Now, listen to this man. He is saying the world ready to be conquered. I like that. Yes, sir. Oh, man. A blue dot. Nothing else? Even with your glasses? Oh, my goodness. Are they finished? No? Nyawera over there. All right. Yes, Nyawera, the most. Yeah. Go ahead, Nyawera. What do you see there? A blue dot. Oh, my goodness. You see a blue dot. One of the most interesting things about the people that I give that piece of paper is that what they are spotting out is the dot. They miss the point because it is a paper. I ask them whether they can see anything. They don't. They see a blue dot. They don't see the paper. And this reminds us as we travel through this life's journey, as we go, there are some things that are going to happen to us on a practical way to us, but we will not see the bigger picture, we will see the smaller picture. Somebody has said this as you travel down life's pathway, may this ever be your goal. Keep your eye upon the donut and not the hole on the donut. Are you getting the picture? But when you see a donut, don't see the hole, see the donut, enjoy it. But some of us see the hole and miss the donut. May God help us that we can see Easter and don't miss it. Don't see the cross, but see the accomplishment that Christ has accomplished for us. We sang a song, although that song was my song, I thought, but when I came here, I thought I would change it, but God refused me to change it because the other one was not able to be found quickly. You know when you're planning to come here, you, there are many things that happen in you. And sometimes you come here, you say Revelation, is, Revelation 20 instead of Revelation 21. You know, these things happen. So I come and here I am. But we sang the song that I had thought about. Rock of ages. Go round me. Let me stand on you. The singer goes on to say, not the labors of my hands which can fulfill your demands. Nothing in my hands I bring. Simply to thy cross I come. I want to come naked so that God can clothe me. I want to come hopeless so that God can help me. Bless the name of King Jesus. I have a, entitled what I'm sharing with you, Finding the Future Behold or Beyond Beyond your failure. Beyond your failure. It is far too easy to become sidetracked as we journey this, this, this journey of faith. By the black marks we may see on the planet earth that God has given us. Instead of seeing the totality of our lives, we see the black spots. And I tell you, oh my goodness, thank God some of you, by the grace of God, have not seen me when I am not the way I am. Say you see me in the gym. And then you wonder whether those eggs are mine. Because they have marks. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They have some marks there. Some of the marks I got when I was a little boy. Some of the marks I got, <laughs> Sikwambi, Naona madaktari wanacheka hapa kwa sababu ni ugonjwa ile black spot inatokezea inatokezea kule. So there are various things that happen but you cannot see because when I dress up I make sure I clothe myself up and then I wear everything up, you know? And I najipaka tu mafuta kidogo kidogo. So na na meta meta na melemeta. But inside in my life as I walk with the Lord there are some black spots. And I'm so glad I'm speaking to men and women who have some black spots. If you have a black spot, say amen. amen. Black spot. And I'm not condemning you. I'm just saying I'm so glad that I'm not speaking to angels. I'm speaking to...
to men and women that are long life journey, they have spots and marks in their lives. But it is also clear that God has chosen to work through those people that have failed in the past so that they can confront or confound uh, the world. That God allows the failures, what we would call failures, to stand up and prove to the world, don't ever call anybody a failure. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, who see need a failure? Because you see, the things that will cause you to call me a failure will be a piece of paper that somebody has graded me and they think that's all about me. Yet I am not that paper myself. I'm talking to people here that the paper they got out from four men, if they're the paper they are following today, they'll be damned and they'll be useless. But I have people here who took that piece of paper and they filed it properly and life went on and they have become the best business people in this world today. Why? Because that failing of a piece of paper is not condemnation at all. There are some people looking at me here. You did your driving lesson and you failed a couple of times. Like me, I failed a couple of times. And man, I tell you, I failed a couple of times. But when I'm driving from Mombasa, like yesterday I was in Makindu, and I'm overtaking these many trucks on one side, then I'm telling myself, you failed a couple of times? <laughs> Whoa! I refuse to be condemned and sit there. Bless the name of the Lord. I'm not saying I'm a good driver, but I'm saying I failed a couple of times. You see, even when you're in the university and they, <laughs> they give you a supplement, do it. It is not condemnation. It is a supplement. It is a supplement. Rudia. Na ukirudia wacha kujiangalia chini. Rudia. Na wambia wale wengine. Mimi nimepewa supplement. You know some of us want to hide. Why are you hiding? You know, do it. Hallelujah. Finding the future beyond your failure. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 25 says this. Because of the, fullness, the, the, the foolishness, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put the shame to the things that are mighty and the best things of the world so that the, the which are despised and the things which are despised God has chosen and the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are that no flesh should glory in his presence. I like that. What God is doing is so that you cannot glory. There is nothing for you to glory. It's all given to you. It is God. Who has given it to us? Bless the name of the Lord. Finding future. My future. The marks that I have should not deter me. Actual fact, the other day we were speaking with another professor, a friend of mine, and we were trying to encourage some students, and we said, if you want to do a diploma, praise God. But what you have is a D minus. Don't you worry. Start very far. Do a certificate. Do it well. Get some distinction out of it. It will promote you to do a diploma. You're not hearing what I'm saying. And then when you're in diploma, please do your best. It will promote you to do a degree. There are some people who have done masters and PhD, but the papers they have actually... When they go to look for a job, they cannot get employed. I will also tell you about the problem of employers. Kama hujapata P1, hatukutaki hapa. Na P1, tunataka C. Uwe ulikuwa mepata C. You know, we are employers. Uwe ulikuwa mepata C. But we miss God. Because God, there is nothing like useless in him. All what he says is that I can turn around you know, nianze kwa certificate, nigonge diploma, nigonge degree. Alaf, badai, 
masters baadaye si si niliwaambia mimi nilipofanya mtihani hata form 5 singeenda mirango nilikuta imefungwa na nilikuwa nimejaza nataka kwenda machakos sana machakos boys nilisomea machakos take it nilikuwa nataka kwenda machakos boys na nikaanza kufamiliarize myself with machakos natembea kule CU na wahubiria naangalia doms naona pale ni, hata nilifikiria nitakuwa house captain naona kanyumba kangu katakuwa pale kwa pembeni yani i had seen all those exam ilipokuja mirango yote ilikuwa imefungwa mwambie jirani yako mirango yo? yote <laughs> lakini hawakufunga ya huku juu walifunga hii nyingine huku juu hawakufunga kandege kakanitoa pale embakasi kana kanipeleka sweden nikaanza mpango wa kurudi tena nichukue hilo degree ilikuwa imenihepa na niliipata na nikasukuma masters ni degree hiyo ingine ndiyo ninaogopa kwa sababu naona hawa wawili vile wanafanya kazi baka e, kuna pita pale na huyu vile wanafanya hiyo kitu hiyo kitu angalau si muifanye light kidogo <laughs> lakini hata hiyo as long as we live we can pursue it what i'm saying is don't allow failure to condemn you until you cannot breathe There are three things actually that I'm going to bring to you. Three reasons God uses people who have failed. <laughs> three reasons God uses people who have failed. You no, know, I told you I'm talking to people who have magesha. So today if you don't have any, it's all right. You know, it's all right. Point number one. Why the three reasons God uses people who have failed? Point number one, it settles the question of who gets the glory. Who gets what? The glory. Who gets the glory? You know, I, I, there is this professor I always quote, driving, going to mark an exam, in another state a kenyan and while driving suddenly the lord started speaking to this lady and asked her started calling her by name if it was he maybe the lord would say kemani and i say he what are you doing and then she answered i'm driving my car what driving my car you are car Yes, Lord. And then the Lord says, Kimani, kuma karate. And then the, the thing, Yes, Lord. Gakorino. Yes, Lord. And then she started doing what God was leading her to. And where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going to mark an exam. Where? Ya wazungu. Wazungu wote. Eh. Kemani, yes. Kuma karate ga korino, yes. Gari yone yaku, yes. And it is you, yes. She started crying. She packed her car and started crying. Why? Because she discovered what God was trying to ask her is, who took you from that village? Who took you to where you are? Who gave you the car you are driving? Who has given you that wisdom? she started crying and i know there are many of us here actually who can cry today why because of what god has done it settles the question who receives the glory you know there is a bishop friend of mine he is in deliverance church when we were young we went to preach in his village We, start, we started by going to Agorosare in Oyugis. We had a deliverance church camp. And um, thank God for the people that Bwana alikuwa mabariki na suruwa nyingi. Lakini hata wale tulikuwa na kamoja tunashukuru Mungu. Nilikuwa nimekafua usiku kakaibiwa asubuhi. 
Anyway, don't ask. Don't, don't get into the details. So, so every time we meet, I tell him, wewe, unasurwarizangu tatu. Because after there, tulichanga changa hapa, nikatafuta kasurwari kengine, tukaenda kubiri kwa okisi. Kubiri kijini. Na unajua, uh, ukiubiri usemi, by the way, hii tudio niko nayo. Hamna. Na piga injiri ni kama majaza sanduku. Na hakuna sanduku. Tulikuwa tunamuka hivyo nirivyo, hivyo nirivyo, divyo nirivyo, haleluya, na kusonga mbele. Shati, unafua usiku, suruali na kasi kutatu, ya ine unaifua, na unaikanyanga vizuri hili ikauke asubui. Amen, haleluya. So, what do you think comes into my mind in the morning when I'm looking for what to wear? Will I wear this purple? Or this purple? You know, I have three purples. So I'm asking, which purple among the purple am I going to wear? This one? Mm -mm. Now he? Mm -mm. He? Yes. It humbles me. And you know, some of you think it is a long time ago. No, even when I was a pastor here. Kuvaa kiatu, unavaa mpaka kwa neema ya mungu. Kiwe na leki Victoria, huko chini. Ukingia kwa bata? Unanunua igine ya reiki Victoria unawachia. And I thought it was Holy Ghost. I used to tell people, oh, watu wa mungu, mubarikiwe, kiatu inakaa kama hili ya wana wa Israeli until I discovered they had just enough. But if God blesses us and gives you a pair that you can decide, tafanya usi leo, tafanya brown leo, kuna na igine unaweza vaa moja saa tano, na igine saa saba, Na ingine jioni. Wadada wa kiroho, haleluya. Kwa gali unajaza viatu, hini ya ofisi, hini ya gali, hini ya nini. Na ni haleluya tu. But don't you remember there was one time, hiyo moja, na ni ya kanga kanga, imeonuka, lakini kwa zabu na ingine, unajaza seo tepu nyeusi. Iri watu wakiangalia kwa mbali, wanaona ni kanga kanga, imepakwa rangi. Hamna. Why does God do it? So that it is settles who receives the glory. Hallelujah. It is settles who receives the glory. You, you, you know, you know, you know, I have listened to funeral. The other day we went to your cousin's funeral and I heard somebody mention uh, a story about him. And I thought, kwani dunia yote ilikuwa hivyo? Ile shati moja mrefu ambayo kwani ilikuwa hiyo dunia hiyo? Na unagoja sana dugi yako ule mkubu wa kuachie. Yani. Ay. So that when you are at Rosa, wandugu wa kiroo wale tunavaa suruari na tulizariwa miaka ya 50s. Na 40s. I imagine wale walizariwa 20s na 30s. Hata hiyo suruari ya hiku eko. Nimesema suruari ya mandishati. Hata hiyo shati hiku wako. Ha ha ha. So it settles the question. So every time you are struggling with something, then you know you are missing it. God is the one who has released it to you and you need to honor him. You are living in your own house, kneel down, tell God thank you. You are driving your own car, kneel down and thank God, thank God for, for that car. You know, thank God for what God has done because some of you know when you came to this city of Nairobi, Ati tulikuwa tunaishi wapi? Hallelujah. Nyumba moja ambayo ni three in one. Ni the fourth unit ambayo hakuna. But the other three in one hiko. Hiko na jiko, hiko na sitting, hiko na bedroom. Yote hiko hapo. Ukua kwa moja unaona hile igine. Ukua umeka hile igine unaona hile igine. Yani hakuna kitu kimefichika. Yote hiko open. Open kabisa, open kabisa. Amen. Yani, na ukai peke yako. Oh my goodness. Kuna kitada igini mekai vile, igini mekai vile. Na kuna masiripping bagi yako pale, just in case. Yani, kuna siku naweza kuja ushindwe. Ni sausages mekai hapa, mani watu. Zawabu, kila mutu wakihamia Nairobi, si unatafuta wandugu. Si wanakupa pali pakulala. Unafikiri unapewa siku moja. Inakuwa kemamo. Na thurura unatafuta job, unarudi pale. Wengine tuliwachana wakati ulianza kuoa. Diyo na mwambia mtu, by the way, sasa. Unajua wewe ya wezi kaa hapa na yule demu waka hapa. Sasa moja ataenda. Na yule naona ataenda. Ni wewe. 
So you go back and all oh, glory, there is no way, there is no one here who can stand and beat their chest up and say, this is my achievement. It's all because of God's glory. So the, it settles the question of who gets the glory. May God receive all the glory. Actual fact, a story is given of one man who was in a, a group. And you know, sometimes we think Mungikis and uh, Al Shababs are here. Even America used to have those gangs, the Mamaos, the Hellgate, and so on. So this man, his name is, uh, he, he became later an evangelist with the, the Baptist, the Southern Baptist. But he was a gang member. He was a gang member. When one failure sees another failure, who has overcome his failure, he's interested. I'm saying when you see a failure, a Mr. Failure, and you are a failure, you get encouraged. Amen? Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you see a failure man, a failure Kemani, and you are a failure you, when you see failure me, you get encouraged. That's what I mean. That we cannot beat our chest, but we see, I see you, if it was not Christ, I see failure you. But because of Christ, I'm encouraged. This man, Gain, uh, was a, a gang leader. He was, his gang was called the Hell's, the Hell's Angel. And he had a wonderful testimony. He told how 18 of his uh, friends died while he was in the gang. And at, at, at each of the gang, when every gang died, and they would bury him, he would take some soil after the preacher has done what he has said. You know what that the Mungikis do when we have done over there, they have to throw some things and a bangi and so on. So this guy would wait until every end. When he's throwing his soil and I say, Ma, we ukai henamu, tutakutana uko. That's what he used to say. But anyway, the Lord ministered to him and, and his life got changed. He would tell them, I'll see you in hell. He was rough. Yes, he was. But one time he's invited by a pastor in Mississippi to go and, and, and share the word of the Lord. And um, we that have gone to America or you that watch American movies, there are some group of men. Normally they are big. And they have beards. And they drive motorcycles. Not the Buddha Buddha. The big dudes. Durango can ascertain that. And they drive those ones that in Nyanda Hivi. And when Nyanda wakua wengi, you know, now they are scaring actually. When they stop and they are coming to ask for pizza or something where you are, they look ugly. Actually, they look like they want to smash the, the counter. Now, when I go to my mama now, I see here or here. What? Kali na macho mekundu, sijua mekula nini. You know, now akitoka ni hivyo, hivyo. Very scary. So our brother was invited by a pastor in Mississippi and he was giving a testimony one Tuesday night. And because the posters were out that this man, notorious gang leader uh, in the 90s coming here and he's going to, to share his testimony, he was an evangelist. Those men walked in church. Yani kama sahi, nikihubiri, Mungiki waingie. Sinikuambia ukweli. Mutahama wengine hapa. Kwa sababu hawa hata hama. Watakuja tu wanaangalia kiti yako. Sabu kimuangalia unaona sura, unahama. Si watu walihama wakawachia mahali waka, wakae. Kwa sababu hawa jamaa ni very serious. The pastor was so scared. The pastor was afraid. Hakujua kitaenda na mnagani. But this guy, those are his people. Aka preach. Ile injili. Kali, akaita otako. Wale wa kriso wa hiyo chacha, hakuna hata moja alinuwa mkono. Lakini ya wa dudes, wawiri, wako hivi, wakainuwa mkono, na wakasonga pale mbele. Wale wengine wakashindu, what are you doing man? That crazy man has gotten my heart. I'm going forward man. So two of them got saved. And the testimony in Mississippi, the little town in Mississippi got fire. 
because one failure was able to reach other failures. Oh, I pray that I can reach other failures here so that glory, we settle the issue of who receives the glory. It doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong to me. It belongs to God. Number two. People who have failed have learned to rely on God. If you have ever failed and then you succeed, you know that your success is God. You know your success is God. Those who are most gifted and capable often end up failing because they don't depend on Christ. And somebody has said that it is the best swimmer that get drowned. But Jimmy wants to swim where? Kikiumana asimame. Amen. Wakini wengine wanataka kupiga dubio na ingia huko ndani mpaka unamuliza unayagaje? Kumbe ni woga ninakuwa nao mimi. Sitaki. Kichwa yende paka huko chini. Eh. Kuna watu hapa uwezi ataficha kichwa kwa maji kidogo. Nafikiria unaweza zama. Na haya utajua kuogerea. But the, 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 the thing is, it is those that think they are champions. Actually, even accidents that happen, happen because people think you are sharp, you are a hero, and you are good in it. Those are the people who fall into, into various uh, trials. While well, those who seem far less talented end up succeeding because they know the only way they can succeed is to let God do it. Just to let God do it. Those that have talents and abilities, they fail because they think it is their own effort and their own abilities. But those that have failed in the past, they know this can only take God. This can only take God. I want you to allow that to sink, you know, sink in. God does not want people to be attracted to us and look to us instead of him. God wants us to lead them to him. We are to guard against people depending on us instead of the Lord. When, when people depend on a person, they elevate him, they worship him, they adore him. But that's not what it's supposed to be. We are supposed to lead the people to depend on God and God alone. So where I have made you think I am the one who knows, please forgive me. Because I don't. I depend on him. Where someone or a pastor has caused you to think they do know is a lie. We all depend on God and God alone. God and God alone. If our allegiance and our trust and hope is in a man and he falls, so does our hope, isn't it? So if someone falls and that was our hope, then all of us Oh, fall! if your hope was in your husband and he dies, then we wait for you to die in a couple of weeks because your hope is gone. But our hope is built on Christ. Bless the name of the Lord. And we are going to depend on him. If our hope is rooted soul in Christ and one, and one of our leaders fall, then we are grieved, but we don't lose faith. We only sorrow with them. We are not cynical, but we just Grieve with them for a little while, but we continue serving the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Somebody called William Murray spent many of his younger years traveling with, with his mother to spread their atheistic views. His mother led a successful campaign to remove prayer and Bible reading from public schools. So little William was in the middle of the famous lawsuit that banned praying and Bible reading 
in the schools in the U.S. Now, years later, and a life-changing conversion experience, William becomes an evangelist using the Bible, the very Bible, that his mother campaigned so that it can be removed from being taught in the schools. And he spread the word of Jesus. It is like Paul. He stand around and he becomes an evangelist for the Lord. So, people, it's good for us to know that people who have failed have learned to rely on God. It's just like saying people who have, if you have ever been conned and you are a wise one, now you have shared with your wife. Next time, you will not be conned. Before you get conned, you will have shared with her. I know I, share, I shared this in this church. One day I got conned. And I thought I'm so sharp. But I was conned. I was conned. Can you imagine? <laughs> I was conned. But I was, I, 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 you know, people who con you, they come to you and they touch in you ile patiako inatakaka kutajirika. Najua there is a part of you that wants to go to heaven. Rock of ages, cloud for me. There is that part. But when they want to con you, they don't touch that part. They touch the part in you that wants to be rich and wealthy. For example, you have won a lottery. Your number had, has been picked. Airtel is calling you. Umeshinda elfu moja. And they are trying that part of you that wants to be what? Rich. Niriguzwa. Kaisabu chapa. Kwaza nikambia jama moja likuwa kiuza magari. Niengu choka. Tachukua gari hapa. Lakini, anybody who is conned, the people who con you are very sharp. Hawataki pesa nyingi zako. Wanataka ngiri mbiri, ngiri tatu, ngiri tana. Lakini wanakusukuma vile mutapata mamirioni. You have warned. Actually, hizo figures ukisoma vizuri, zinakuwaga pesa ambazo hata ukipiga mara na shiringi ya Kenya we mwenyewe. Unaona utanunua the whole of Zimmerman, utakaa sijui, utakuwa ukikaa mudhaiga ya juu, karibu na kwa kebake. Yani unaona tu mapesa inapia, hata, hata utai kuambia mtu, unanyamaza. Hii siri isija ikashikika na watu wegini. But those people, they only want 5,000 from you. Only. But they start you with the millions. Alright? Then you oh man, this million, I'll buy this vehicle, I'll drive this. Takuwa nikibadisha gari kila wiki. The rest of my life. Kwanza nitakuwa nikikuishi na milioni moja kila mwaka. Mbaka Christo Arudin. Ata nikiishi miaka miambiri. Pesa hizo ni nyingi. They make sure you agree. If you get to that, if you get hooked, then they tell you, to release it, there is actually someone. It's a stamp duty. They come to you very kindly. Kitu kidogo tu, kama elfu tano. Ukituma kwa hii namba, na utupatie namba ya account yako. Hii itaigia, chwap, na inginegia kwako, pip. Utalia mirele. Are you hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> wako huko, wako. Na kwanza sijui wananionea kwa nini. Mimi ni meshinda. Hata saa hii nikirudi kwa computer kuna wengine wamenileta ni meshinda. Meshinda. Shinda vitu za ajabu. Magari, manyumba. Hata <laughs> hata zingine ni meshinda nimeambiwa you have you have actually won the green card. It's just waiting for you to do a few things. Na yangalia nasema if, if this came when I was 19 or 20 maybe you would have caught me up. But now not at this time. No, not at this time. So there are those of you that actually are so excited. But when you get conned, we know. Unakuja tukikuombea. Unalia kidogo. Vire pesa ulikuwa nazo za nyumba. Na wengine hata musemi ukweli. Na unawambewa na usemi ukweli lakini unalia. Si useme ukweli useme I was conned because of my appetite. Pray that God will deliver me from this appetite. <laughs> Lastly, failures are all God has to choose from. Failures. 
how many again I want to ask in this room, in this room, have ever failed? How many failures are in the house? Wale mmeka nao hachukui mikono wambie wacha urongo. Failure. Ni pale tu atuna muda kukuambia what you failed, but you know what you failed. I don't want to ask you to tell your neighbor the failure you went through, because at least you, some of the failures. So najua kuna... Kwanza wale wanatafuta kazi. Siju kama usha pata hii advertisement. We are looking for marketers. 92 marketers. From four levers. The interview will be done. Halafu unachukua ngirimbiri. Wanakombia it's only 32,000 kufanya interview. Wacha ni kuachia hapo. Kwa sababu tumepoteza mali all over the place. But let's look at a few failures, men that have failed. Moses was a failure. He was not only a failure, Moses had a physical problem. He was a stammerer. He was a stammerer. He was afraid. He was so fearful. But the Lord used him to deliver the children of Israel. Actual fact, the Lord told him, go back. Where you failed, go back. Go back. There is a guy who was a general. He lost two thirds of all the battles he fought in the American Revolution. But he won the battle. He lost a few wars. Two thirds of the wars that he fought, he lost. But he won the battle. His name was George Washington. So it doesn't matter how many wars you have lost. A few here, a few there. May you never lose the battle. It doesn't matter the many wars that you have failed here and there. But may God give you the courage to win the battle. The battle of life. There was another guy who graduated and he in the graduating class he was number two from behind. He was number 42 out of a class of 43. What would you think? Si ameshindwa sana. Lakini akienda kwa wazazi ambao hawakuwa amesoma. Si anawambia mimi, dad, nilishinda. Nilishinda mtu. Dadi anasema, ulishinda mtu? Eh, wagapi? We, dadi nilishinda mtu. Wagapi nilikuwa 42 nikashinda walikuwa 43 haya hata hiyo ni kushinda but this man who was 42 out of a class of 43 he went out to conquer europe his name was napoleon are you hearing what i'm saying you could have been 44 itself what are you 42 44 itself but today where you are, because you journeyed on, you're a different kind of a person. There are some of you ladies that are here. You felt so hurt when he, the master right you thought, decided to go on in life. And you felt like, maybe you are here and you felt like, no, they left me with a baby. But blessed are those ladies that have journeyed on. Because today, the same guys look for them, 
but they cannot get them. Yani unaambiwa wrong number. With a little swing. In a eh? With a Why? Because we journeyed on. Bless the name of the Lord. Maybe brother you are here. Because you could not even afford kahawa every Friday. She walks away from you. But today, she has been trying to come back. But you have a swag, you know. I'm praying that God will give a lot of you some swag of a kind. Yani, yani kitu too. You know, if, if they sacked you as a house girl, let them see your business, you know. Hallelujah. There was a guy who lost almost every election he ran for. And he did 10 or 12 times. Until finally he was elected president. Lincoln Abraham. I mean. So. We keep on telling Kalonzo Musioka. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. <laughs> we tell Wetangula. You have not even started. You know. You know, sometimes when you come here and you feel like you want to be a little political, you have to be careful. But the thing is, look at your neighbor, tell him, even Raira can be a president of this country. Say amen. amen. He has only tried three times. Only. Not ten. Three. Kebaki had tried three. <laughs> I know I'm saying this deliberately. Because there are some of you that think because you hear them say Tutatawala bisijue baka 20 something. Kwani? Nasisi yasa. Kwani? Inchi niyao kweli? Si walishinda wakalia, machozi. Kuna mwingine atashinda na ya alia. Tzabu kama buwana akiamua ni wewe, hitakuwa ni wewe. I'm not standing for any seat. I don't want to be your governor. Neither do I want you to be your senator. I want to be your pastor. Just allow me to be your pastor. So this man, Abraham Lincoln, tried 10 to 12 times. Edison tried to make a bulb 200 times or different times. He tried to make a bulb. But the, 12, the 200 year, he made a bulb. And today we enjoy it. Actually, there's a lot of modification out of what this man did. So what are we saying? That failure, it all depends. Let me, let me, let me, let me ask you, okay, let me give you this illustration. How many people know Nairobi River before Michoke came was stinky? Nairobi River. How many people know? And it was greasy and oily. You know that? Now, there used to be some boys early in the morning as people are crossing over from Gara going to town who would wait for women there. And the cabridge ilikuwe ambao. Unastuli wana iyo kitu. Woo! Na angusha kide ulikuwa mebeba. If you fell on that river and you're going to work, what would be the, log the, the logic? Go? Go home. Yeah, I like that actually. The logic is go home, change, proceed. The illog illogical thing would be for you to sit on that greasy, oily thing 
and tell everybody passing. Mimi naenda kazi. Nitaenda. Sababu utaenda unanuka sana. Inanuka ilikuwa inanuka kila kitu, inanuka hiyo na ingine na kadhalika na vitu vingine mingi hiyo. So failure is only bad if after you fail you sleep down there. Now that is dangerous. But every failure that once we discover we have failed, we move on. Do you really know when we really blow it? It is when we cease to follow Christ and you might attribute failure in a given area to such and such a reason. But the real reason is that you did not have your eye on Jesus. I want to repeat that again. Sometimes all what we have is the reasons of why we have failed. Isn't it? And normally what we do, we blame someone else for our failures. But the real reason why we fail as believers is because our focus has been tilted. We are not focusing on the Lord Jesus. We are tilting it to something else. Either wealth, like I had said a little earlier. But give your failures to God this morning and see what you do with them. He will cleanse you, mend you, and then send you. As long as you try to turn your failure into something, you will only reap more failures. But give your failures to God. That God, I tried to sell tomatoes. I have failed. Take my failure because I'm going to sell more tomatoes. Don't give up on anything. Take up your failure and try again. Amen. Keep on trying. Because one of these days, the winners are here and I can see some of you, God has blessed you already. We started by talking about Peter. What a failure. Peter was a failure, isn't it? Actual fact, John chapter 20, he starts very well. How does he start very well? He walks into the tomb and he discovers the tomb is empty, but there is a napkin that is wrapped. In other words, the Lord had just passed through the grave. He was not staying there. And Peter, after seeing all that and the Lord appearing to them in chapter 20, chapter 21, where I read, Peter has gone back fishing. Even with all these things that the Lord is doing to us, there is a possibility we can go back fishing. But the Lord is pursuing us there and he's asking us, do you love me more than this? Do you love God more than your failures? Are you going to sit on your failures or you're going to look at the God who can lift you up from your failures and you become something else? Remember, it is set us who receives the glory. People who have failed have a way of knowing it is the Lord. And you know what? God has no other choice. He chooses us even when we fail. Hallelujah. I will ask you to close your eyes. Meditate upon this song as I sing a song that I tried to sing last Sunday. Two thousand years ago when God looked down upon this world and saw the sinful state that it was in. He arose and left his place on earth and came down to dwell with men. Left his glory on fit all for you and me. And the time is drawing near. coming back from glory with great power and the prophecy of the Bible shows the time is now at 
can give our failures to the Lord. Yes, we can. If you are saying, I want to give my failures to the Lord this morning, would you stand with me as we give our failures to the Lord? We want to give our failures to you, Lord. We have failed. And you know the area that you have failed. And you want to give it to the Lord. Would you open your mouth and please tell the Lord about it. Tell the Lord about it. Tell the Lord about it. The area where you have failed and you want God to come and help Hallelujah. Father, help me. Help me, help me, dear Father. I feel financially. I feel in the leadership. Lord God, I want to give you my failures. I want to give you my failures, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe, dear Father, failure leading your people. I want to ask that, dear Father, you turn these failures into success in your hands. Dear Father, I also want to thank you for the victories that you have brought. It has humbled us. We are humbled and you receive all the glory. It doesn't belong to any one of us. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want to thank you for everyone that has listened to me today. The Heavenly Father, the, the challenge is where we are to look at where the Lord has taken us from so that we can give him all the glory. Dear Father, in our little ways, that Father, you can be honored in our lives. We want to thank you and to give you praise. Hallelujah. Rock, rock of ages. 